Hey, my name is Matt and today we're going to talk about collage art. Maybe you've seen some cool pictures online, in advertisements, or in art galleries that look like this, or this, or this. Maybe you like the visual style that they have and you're interested in learning uh, how to make similar kinds of art or trying it out as a hobby. This video is about exactly that, about how to make abstract collage art. Now, to make collage art, I could tell you to just cut things out of magazines, arrange them how you like them, and then glue them down, and that wouldn't be entirely wrong. Collage art is a very accessible and not too technically demanding form of art, but there are a few things that you may want to consider, especially if you're a beginner, that will make this experience even more enjoyable. So today we'll be talking about what I call process, materials and how to use them, and artistic considerations. By process, what I mean is the things you do outside of actually cutting and pasting things together that are related to collage. For me, one of the biggest things is finding inspiration. This might come in the form of simply finding artists or pages on Instagram, or just looking through magazines to find images you like. I highly recommend trying to find a wide range of magazines to look at, as this will give you a greater variety of pictures to choose from. Even magazines you might not have any personal interest in can be great resources. If you like it, just cut it out and put it to the side. Don't worry too much about what you'll use it for, you can figure that out later. You might find it helpful to organize your items, either by using a color-coded bookmark system or just placing things into piles based on category, like people, objects, and so forth. First, as you can see on my desk, you'll want to get a cutting mat to prevent cutting whatever is underneath, though if you're on a budget, you might be able to get away with using a cutting board. To actually cut things out, you'll need a scalpel. For cutting out entire pages or large pieces, you could just use scissors, but for finer detail, you'll definitely need to use the scalpel. Once you've got your pieces cut out, you'll need a glue stick to put things into place. Another nice to have is a ruler, as this can be very helpful if you're trying to cut a straight line. If you're totally new to collage, it might be easiest to only stick with magazine cutouts at first, but if you're up to it, I highly recommend trying out different objects and materials too. Collage is an incredibly creative art form, so don't limit yourself. Try using string, leaves, fabric, photographs, or anything you can think of. Once you start putting your piece together, that's when you can start thinking about artistic considerations, such as color, composition, balance, and so on. However, art is largely subjective, and collage art in particular prides itself on breaking the rules. So don't worry about whether you're doing things correctly or if you don't have much art making experience. Just do what feels right, what looks good to you, and what makes you happy. And if you're ever in need of more direction, just head back to the first thing that we did, finding inspiration from others and from the world around you. I'm sure that with a bit of practice, you'll be making things that will inspire others too. Thank you.